Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements, part one of an eight-part series we're calling Basic Training for Photoshop Elements. In this series, we just want to look at the basics of the program, find out what things do and where they are, and um, then hopefully get you on your way so you can start using this wonderful program. There are actually a couple of different modes you can work on in the program. One is the more advanced mode, and don't let the word advanced scare you. It's simply more like the professional version of Photoshop. You can see it's got the entire or the complete toolbar here on the left. It's got a number of great tools in it. None of them are terribly complicated to use, but it's the more in-depth tool set. The quick mode is more just for touching up pictures and doing some simple work and simple editing work and simple cleanup work. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. There's also the guided mode, and we'll take a look at some of the guided edits a little bit later in the program. There are about 50 guided edits in here, and these, some are fairly elementary, but a number of these will let you do special effects, will let you do really cool things and create cool projects for the program. And it takes you step by step through using the tools to do it. But let's go to advanced mode. Actually, we're going to switch over to quick mode and take a look at how quick mode works when it comes to editing photos. So switching over to quick mode, you see we have a fairly limited toolbar here on the left, but it's capable of doing a number of things. We have a selection tool. We'll talk about selections a little later in this course. Selections are very important in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements for uh, kind of controlling how things work in the program in addition to cutting and pasting objects from one photo to another. But for now, we're going to leave that uh, at that and we'll come back to it a little bit later. We have a red eye tool or an eye tool and the red eye tool can be used to remove a uh, red eye. That's when you take a picture in dim lighting and you have the flash go off and sometimes the eyes glow, especially with pets, and you want to get rid of that red eye. Now, this is a simple tool for doing that. A little toothbrush here for whitening teeth. You can select the teeth and then bleach them whiter if you need to. I'm going to Command D or Control D to deselect that. A tool for straightening or leveling your photo. A tool for adding text. A tool for doing some patches, uh, getting rid of some little blemishes or flaws in the picture. We'll take a look at how to use the spot healing brush a little bit later in this course. And then for cropping or for resizing your photo. Off to the right are some great tools for fixing your photo in a fairly intuitive way. Open up uh, this panel bin here under Smart Fix and you see that we have uh, this little tic-tac-toe board. This tic-tac-toe board represents various settings for your photo and as you hover over each of these you can see there's changes to your photo. I'm not even clicking, I'm just hovering over them. Let's try a different one, exposure. And you can see as I hover over these I can choose different exposure levels and if I want to select one I can click to select one. The center represents no effects at all or reset and we can try different light settings and we can reset to its original no setting also if we'd like. So there are these little tic-tac-toes, they're called quick preview tools for making adjustments in exposure and in lighting and color and balance or to sharpen your photo. But we're not done yet. Take a look down in the lower right hand corner and you'll see a tool called quick actions. And if you click on quick actions, you see that what Adobe has done is taken the panel options on the right as well as the toolbar on the left and created some quick actions here for doing some AI edits. For instance, adding a blue sky. There's no sky in this picture, so don't worry about this. Smoothing skin, uh, making a color photo out of a black and white photo, blurring the background and uh, keeping the foreground in, in focus vignetting. Check out these. This is pretty cool. They're done with a single click. I can make color correction by simply clicking on color correction and it will automatically make the color correction for me. I can smooth the skin by clicking on smooth skin and it will automatically make adjustments to the skin, uh, removing any wrinkles from the skin. We'll take a look at that tool a little bit later in the program. But you see that there are a lot of great features available here. And this is just a quick workspace. We haven't even gotten in depth into the deeper, more advanced workspace yet. But we're going to do that in part two of our eight part series. And I hope you come back for part two as we look at basic training for Adobe Photoshop Elements. Take care.